If you've ever witnessed a fight between dogs, you know how frightening it can be. Both are aggressive and wild. Super wild, actually. Dogs fight for many reasons, including guarding of the territory, toys, or food. Or they might react out of fear or get offensive just to scare your bum out of his way. Well, that's exactly how a Tibetan Mastiff would do. Compared with the wolf in the wild, who do you think will run away first? In today's video, you're gonna need a lot of popping corn for this. Sit back, relax, let's get started. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Known for its bravery and loyalty, no doubt it is deeply loved by people, although it's a large dog by nature. Wanna know why? A sturdy Tibetan Mastiff can weigh about 75 kilograms and have a shoulder height of 85 centimeters. It looks extremely mighty, but people aren't afraid of them. In fact, they become part of the family. The timber wolf is the largest wolf among wild wolves. The timber wolf is the largest wolf in the world. However, it actually refers to the British Columbia wolf because the timber wolf is the collective word for wolves in North America. It's a group of wolves lying in the north. The body sizes of different subspecies are totally different. The British Columbia wolf is the largest gray wolf subspecies weighing up to 85 kilograms and standing at 90 centimeters tall at the shoulder. Man, if I say wolf one more time. When the largest size is compared separately, the Tibetan Mastiff is comparable to the size of a wolf from British Columbia. The two are identical in terms of size and weight compared to other places if such is the case. For animals, which one is strong and which is weak mainly depends on the mouth. One on the bite strength and the other on the teeth. When comparing biting force, the Tibetan Mastiff clearly falls short of the wolf. This is because the Tibetan Mastiff's bite force became worse when it became a pet dog in a nursing home. It doesn't need to seek prey, and it doesn't eat bones very often. The bite force gradually decreases. According to the information I gathered, the Tibetan Mastiff's bite force can reach 140 kilograms whereas the biting force of wolves, such as the British Columbia wolf, can reach 300 kilograms. The biting force of the British Columbia wolf is twice that of the Tibetan Mastiff, according to research. The Tibetan Mastiff's canines are normally between two to three centimeters in length, and usually no longer than that, depending on the length and sharpness of the teeth. The Tibetan Mastiff's canines are longer than the canines of the British Columbia wolf. The length has been increased by around one centimeter. Longer canine teeth will inflict greater damage and will come into contact with crucial organs. Ugh, fleshy. In terms of bite force, canine tooth length, and sharpness, the British Columbia wolf surpasses the Tibetan Mastiff. However, the wolf lives in the wild and has more fighting and hunting experience. Of course, the Tibetan Mastiff is the strongest. However, some netizens will say that it is unreasonable to compare the Tibetan Mastiff with the British Columbian Wolf, which is the largest wolf today. And I think it makes sense. The size of wolves varies a lot depending on the species. The Arabian Wolf, for example, weighs barely 18 kilograms on average. If you come into contact with a Tibetan Mastiff, you best believe you will not be able to defeat that massive beast. In fact, Tibetan Mastiffs and Arabian Wolves will not fight. They won't fight owing to the same aggressiveness in the animal kingdom, especially predatory carnivores. Because even if the duel is won, they will not go unscrupulous. A win that isn't tainted will always be tainted. If this is the case, it is preferable to prey on non-aggressive herbivores. However, the Tibetan Mastiff is the largest domestic dog subspecies which doesn't make sense when compared to the larger wolf. If you look closely, the other two wolves were each attacking one of the combatants. To put it in another way, one wolf attacked the mastiff, while the other wolf attacked the wolf. All four of these dogs were reared as a pack, with the mastiff being the eldest and most dominant. There are multiple videos of this mastiff controlling all of these wolves. However, it appears that one of the wolves has finally grown up and had enough of the dog. The wolf definitely excelled the dog and it's only a matter of time before it takes over as pack leader. The moment you encounter a wolf and you happen to have brought your Tibetan Mastiff with you, 
expect him to be able to defend you from the threatening presence of such a wild animal. The outcome will vary depending on how many wolves are in the pack, or how many Tibetan Mastiffs are there to guarantee your safety. Although this encounter is not very common, this can happen, especially during your camps or adventures in the forest. And if you have a magnificent Tibetan Mastiff with you, your concern about looking predators nearby will turn out pretty low. Now, who do you think is more powerful? A domesticated Tibetan Mastiff or a wild wolf? To recapitulate everything, just to remind you, when the Tibetan Mastiff is pitted against a wolf of equivalent size, such as the British Columbia Wolf, the wolf is clearly the winner. What are your thoughts on the matter? Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear it. If this is the type of video that you enjoy watching, subscribe to our channel for more of this epic fighting. But wait, don't forget to smash that like button. See you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.